So I didn't back butter a single one of these tiles. So how do you tell when you need to back butter and when you don't need to back butter? Questions and answers. So I didn't back butter a single one of these tiles. But should you do that for every tile? Or are there times when you do need to back butter? Well, I'm gonna go over some of those uh, questions and give you some answers. So generally for a smaller tile, you're usually not going to have to back butter the tile. I would say probably up to like an eight by eight sometimes even a 12 by 12, depending on the tile. But sometimes you need to also back butter smaller tiles. So how do you tell when you need to back butter and when you don't need to back butter? So I'm not gonna go specifically into uh, trial sizes and stuff like that. I have several videos where I talk about trial sizes and what they actually are and ha how to select a trial. And I'll link to those videos in the cards and in the descriptions. But I want to specifically talk about smaller tiles, subway tiles. So <clears throat> if you had to back butter every single one of these tiles here, you'd be here forever. In some cases, it might be necessary, but most times for a smaller tile, it's not. And specifically, these tiles here, these subway tiles, the back is flat. So I don't need to back butter these tiles. And the back of the tile is also very clean. So there's not no bond inhibitor on the, on the back of it. So <clears throat> just spreading your thin set. I'm gonna show you in a second. Spreading your thin set and sticking the tile is gonna be uh, the only thing you need to do. So let me show you why uh, that happens. Um, I wanna emphasize though, when you, you're installing a large format tile, like a 12 by 24 or even a larger tile or a natural stone tile, those tiles you should uh, back butter every time. But these smaller tiles, it's not, most of the time it's not needed. Sometimes it is, like I said, but most of the time it's not. So let me show you um, exactly what I'm talking about. This tile here, you could probably use, because it's got a flat back, you could probably use a quarter inch square notch trowel or even even a little bit smaller than that because the back of the tile is flat. That also depends on your substrate. Now I'm using hydroband board here. So I'm using hydroband board. So the, the, this surface is very flat. The trowel that I'm using is actually a euro notch. This is more or less equivalent to a um, three eighths inch notch trowel, uh, between a quarter inch and a three eighths inch notch trowel. Now, the reason I use this is because it, it's designed to give you good coverage. But if you've got a, a square notch trowel, a square lot notch trowel, I, I use them all the time, will work very well. So, just going over the basics here. So, you always, want to key in your substrate that I actually have a video about that and it makes a huge enormous difference don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell spread your thin set hold your trowel at about a 45 degree angle then you set your time press it in and then move it back and forward and then what you'll see here is that I'm gonna have 100% coverage see that that's a hundred percent because it's very easy to press the tile into the thin set and get get good coverage now you don't need to back out of these tiles because the transfer is really good because it's a small tile um, and you're going to get good coverage as long as you use the right size trowel. If you use a, a trowel that's too small, you might have a problem. But for these tiles, which are, these are 3 8 inch thick, and they get like really good coverage. That's like 100%. So <clears throat> when 
would it be advisable to back butter a small tile like this? Well, if a lot of these tiles, a lot of times they will have a deep pattern on the back that they do that for several reasons. Uh, but why it's like that doesn't, is, is really irrelevant to my discussion here. What you need to know is that there's a deep pattern. Uh, this is an eight by eight tile that I gotta be installing uh, in another bathroom. Um, but sometimes you can get these smaller tiles with these very deep patterns. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but there's like a very, very deep pattern in there. So there's like these, these ridges are, are raised and the clear part down here, the clean part is recessed. So if you've got a, a, a small tile like this with a deep, with a deep pattern on the back, when you press that into the mortar, it, you're going to struggle to get uh, the proper coverage because you're either going to need a deeper trowel to be able to push it all the way in and completely fill completely fill the pattern or more simply just back by the tile so now you get a flat back and you press it into the tile into the thin set so that's why um, you need to you might need sometimes need to back butter a smaller tile like this. Usually a three by six or a, or a t or two by five. Usually these smaller subway tiles, you're not gonna need to back butter. Even if this if this was an eight, uh, this eight by eight had a flat back to it, similar to this one here, then I wouldn't even bother back butter, buttering these ones here. But because this has a deep pattern, when I install this, I'm actually gonna back butter all these tiles. So I just wanted to make a, a, a point about um, back buttering because it seems like a lot of people say you have to back butter every single tile otherwise you're not going to get a, a, a good adhesion, you're not going to get good coverage. No, that's not always true. Many times you don't have to back butter the tile. For these, these kinds of tiles here, you don't need to back butter and just, you know, if you're not sure, just spread some thin set, uh, set a couple of tiles, pick them up, see what your coverage is and then you then you should be good to go if uh the tile is flat like this oh don't forget to check the um the description plenty of links to tools on my amazon store uh pdfs and, and other useful information thanks for watching